Hey you guys, we have another pick a card. We're going to be doing an interconnection spread to see how Spirit is leading this connection and the lessons that we can gain from it and any healing messages. So we have four decks to pick from today. There are four female figures, so please pause this video to take a look and um, to just use your intuition and we're going to get started right now. The first one is observation. Expand your consciousness by observing the divine matrix of life. Number two is love. Live your truth and share the love that is in your soul. Number three is inner alchemy. Inner alchemy is achieved when you react in when you react to fear with love. And number four is stillness. Reflect on the moment with love, kindness, and compassion. So you can pause the video here if you need to, to meditate on which pile. You can pick more than one, of course, and let's get started. Hello, pile number one. You picked the High Priestess from my Shaman deck. So we're going to do an interconnection spread and you picked the word observation. Expand your consciousness by observing the divine matrix of life. So I'm going to grab the divine masculine and divine feminine cards and we're going to get started. So because you picked the high priestess, I'm not using the typical divine masculine and feminine in the shaman deck, I'm using her counterpart. And so the high priestess is highly, uh, highly psychic, uh, highly intuitive, usually lives by her intuition more than the outside world. And we have her counterpart, which is the magician, who is also just as equally powerful. This is a, a very psychic, powerful power couple. Um, if I were to pick a couple out of the tarot deck beside the basic divine masculine, divine emperor with the emperor and the empress, I, I feel that these two have more of the etheric uh, power, more so than the emperor and the empress. So you pick something with um, you and your twin uh, or your person that you're thinking of to share a lot of etheric power, okay, mm -hmm. telepathy manifestations and spirit is also bringing through this is probably why i feel group number one you guys have kind of gone through a bit of a ringer um you probably get a lot more darker things coming to you because of this etheric world that you both naturally reside in so we're going to take a look and see how spirit is interconnecting the two of you and where spirit is guiding this connection and again, you've got observation. So this is about right now observing what's happening in your matrix um, from those intuitive powers and how to use these powers in a really big way. Um, when you use these powers in a really big way, you become such a powerhouse that things manifest naturally in your community world. So this is really going to be um, hmm, very interesting because I'm seeing dark and light goes hand in hand with this. And you guys have been really in a dark cycle. When you're in a dark cycle, it's a little bit harder to manifest in your world. So either it's like it goes really, really bad or it goes really, really good. And um, there's really no in between. And you're like, why can't we just find that nice calm? And Spirit is saying that that's because of this high power that the two of you hold. So we're going to take a look at the bottom of the deck. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse. The Ace of Cups in reverse. And the Page of Wands in reverse. And what I'm getting here, Spirit is leading you right now, is... Uh, you guys have walked through darkness, okay? Both of you have been on a separate journey. I'm feeling that this is a couple most likely in separation. Um, there's still a lot of emotional instability that's happening with this page of cups and moving forward. But um, you're cleaning up the betrayal because you have walked through those dark canyons of darkness. And you're coming up to some major victory here. Um, what I'm seeing is the... 
uh, betrayal that you've had again like I was I was seeing is that you guys have been like kind of thrown into the pits of hell here it's very 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 dark and um, there's a bird here so you can see God has been with you the whole time and following you into your darkness as much as you have been feeling your light so I feel like that's a confirmation um, but the emotional instability is still something of self-love that we have to give to ourselves that we're still learning more about and it took, it's a little bit difficult because when when we have these high connections we feel a little bit like a misfit we feel a little bit weird and i almost feel like we feel like this monkey in this picture it's like i don't fit in like my only best friend is this weird little monkey like i'll take the monkey as my best friend so i think it's a little bit difficult for some of you um and there's been somewhat of a delay here because you have to accept that weirdness uh that strangeness uh, that you're really different than a lot of people. So we're going to take a look at what these top four cards are. And we're going to see. I'm not going to look at them yet. We're going to just take them as they are. And we're going to see where Spirit is aligning this connection. Where are you aligning this connection, Spirit? This is my interconnection spread. This is a gypsy spread. That's given to me. She calls herself a gypsy. I know sometimes that name is not... Uh, um, accepted worldwide, so I apologize if it does affect you. It's not my intention. I do have uh, Roman Gypsy blood in me as well, so um, yeah. But it's the, she categorized herself as that, and she talked with this when I was very young. So let's see what spirit has for you, and we're going to clarify. I'm sorry if you hear everyone is downstairs eating and mingling and having a great old time so <laughs> okay what did I say that's exactly it right there I'm gonna just hold this up for you okay if you can see that in the middle of the reading is the devil okay and it's on top of this knight of cups so the toxic energy is preventing, and this is what I was feeling, there's probably a lot of spell work in this pile, of preventing this offer to come through to either one of you. It's separating you. Look at this, the high priestess is at the top, and the magician, your counterpart, is on the bottom. So complete separation in the energies, the darkness in the... Uh, dark entities and the obsession of codependency is stopping any type of offer of love to come forward there is a slow movement on the outside that you're trying to scoot around this energy both of you and you both know that it's destined now it's interesting that at the divine feminine's feet the high priestess she is grounding this destiny she's speaking to the head of god is what i'm seeing and moving this um calling down and it's pulling the divine masculine in his crown chakra and his higher chakras as he elevates and tries to ground that destiny as well that grounding is, is activating his 3d world so there is a lot of movement that god is scooting around this energy um, and this is why this observation card came out for you guys, because you've got to be very meticulous at this time, Spirit is saying, how you're moving in this connection together, because this the devil is still very strong here. Um, and that's where this emotional stability is. You guys have already walked through a lot of darkness, but it is coming out of that emotional realm. So let's see what the Divine Feminine can... Well, first I'm going to see what this devil is on top of this offering. And it could be also... Now, if you know this is your twin, so if you know this is who God made you for, uh, it is darker forces keeping you separate. Now, if you're unsure, you don't know, um, it could also be a mimic type of twin um, that the dark forces create uh, to get you addicted to you know what's being offered here um, so it can go both ways but only you know no one can tell you who your twin is you know if you know God well enough you'll you'll know who your person is um, without getting some type of obsessive attachment um, so yeah let's take a look here what is this devil here spirit that's the center of the read for group number one what is you want me yeah they want me to take it so 
there's a lot here. Um, there is a reunion that wants to come forward with this Three of Cups. Use this as just a viewpoint so I can look at it as I'm clarifying. Um, a lot of it has been hidden, hidden from both twins here, from both counterparts in regards to a reunion. This masculine energy is definitely contemplating coming to the Divine Feminine. What I'm seeing here is the King of Pentacles with the Two of Wands and the Queen of Cups. So this is earth and water. It doesn't have to be, but he really wants to ground this. This is where I'm seeing in these energies here with the Magician trying to scoot around the uh, energies of the darkness and to come forward. But there's still some healing that has to happen here. He doesn't know how quite to merge these dimensions to come into this uh, Queen of Cups. But he wants to. Um, and that's in the emotional stability aspect that's happening here. I'm just going to clarify this page here because that's for both. But I'm going to clarify it for just divine masculine right now. Yeah, he's in pain about the Empress, right? So he has to heal this pain in his heart and to forgive something else within him, probably himself, but also to um, whoever needs forgiveness and that played a part in this situation needs forgiveness because that forgiveness and gratitude will alleviate a lot of this. Um, but there's still a darkness here with the moon. Um, let me see what this emotional instability with the divine feminine. You are just in a hangman position, which means that you're gaining a lot of enlightenment. So what I'm getting here is divine feminine, you are the ones that are grounding this path here, right? You are the ones that are really um, working with the divine to ground. It's moving your mask and forward. So he does want to come forward and offer you. But this darkness is still playing and holding both of you back. Clarify like that moon there with the devil spirit. Yeah, wanting to come forward. So anything that comes forward right now, it's going to be from a place of lack of the Four of Cups, the Six of Pentacles with the Four of Cups. It's not going to be a whole offer. This masculine is still being siphoned. So this could be also a message to, to, you know, if your masculine does come forward, that there's still something that hasn't quite cleared. He has to cut ties and to heal from these darker forces because there's still a delay that spirit is saying. What is this delay here? What is this delay? For call number one. Yeah. Rejection is a blessing here. Nothing can get started. So there's no offer. It, the offer is delayed because it can't be started. So this is a highly protected connection, which doesn't surprise me because you are the magician and the high priestess. And so there's something that's still not quite there, even though there is a desire to want to come forward. God is really trying to uh, clear up this energy. So prayer is very important. Working with Christ energy is the best thing to get rid of darker entities. It is the only one that can, uh, Christ is the only one that can really get rid of dark forces and demons. Um, and being in the unconditional love and connect to your twin that way in the unconditional love, not from a place of lack. It's very, very important. So let's see what's going on with this um, offer that's aligned to the star card here, the destiny. I'm going to clarify that. That offer spirit. Yeah, there is an imbalance here that's happening. Um, oh, no, it's like I was in reverse. Sorry. So it's, it's patience, a reconciliation, and judgment. This is both of you ready for a renewal. This is really beautiful. It's definitely twin flame divine counterparts. We have temperance with the judgment card. I can't even. So destiny is going to make this happen. So you've got to hold faith really strong and hold into this love so strong, call number one, because it's going to alleviate the darkness, okay? Your light... And this is the learning process that twins unfortunately have to go through is to face the really, really deep darkness with the love of what we know within us. And when we connect within us and hold that vibration so strong, nothing can get to you. And so this is the masculine one of renewing and a reconciliation. And I also see temperance as a renewal and a reconciliation as well. So you're both coming at this and God is guiding this, you know, um, 
with when I clarified the Knight of Cups with the with the star. So, uh, yeah, there's definitely um, being led. You're both being led, and this energy that you're feeling in this reading, where the the high priestess is connected to that, it still needs more momentum to the divine, right? So keep connecting to the divine. Get out of the darker energies. Hold that pure vibration. And the more that you can do that, that takes a lot of work. I know it has to be a daily ritual. If you're not getting up and praying, if you're not getting up and praying before you go to bed, if you're not getting up and meditating, if you're not doing something to connect every day, to clear your connection, to heal yourself, to work with yourself with Christ as well, especially in this connection, um, you have to put that work in so God can ground it more because it is affecting your masculine who wants to come in and bring this offer, but there's definitely still more darkness that is still clearing up. Okay, so you've got to observe the matrix. You have to observe how the energies, they change very minutely for you, group number one. So you have to be very aware of how this is shifting for you, no matter what, because, um, yeah, because you'll know when it starts to go in an uphill uh, type of vibration. You'll start to recognize, you'll start to feel better, you'll feel lighter, the heaviness won't be there, more things are manifesting in your life, and this is another reason why we say Divine Feminine to work on yourself and to keep moving forward and to hold that pure love that you know that you share. Let's see what's going on with the Divine Masculine with the Magician. Clarify the Magician. He's slowly getting out of this, but that devil is like sitting on him, and you know how demons are. This devil if you go back like this devil uh just sits um right on on top of you it's like it's it's doing this at night i'm just gonna hold this up again you see this devil is like sitting right on his like it, it would be right on his chest area you know and that's what they're showing me like it's it's like an incubus it could be a succubus energy is what i'm feeling so if it's with the karmic energy I feel it's like a succubus energy. I'm sorry if you hear downstairs. My parents just bought my son a PlayStation 5. I know because he's having a hard time adjusting to Guyana. So I'm sorry if you're hearing gaming downstairs. This house is so open, even with walls. Um, it's very difficult, so I would really apologize. Um, yeah, and so this energy is very succubus type of sexual, lustful energy, drugs, that kind of thing. Um, so... Let's see what's happening with this this demon, with this masculine. We have a seven here. It's affecting his money. We have the seven, and yeah, he's putting an end to it. Yeah, okay. There's depth, there's massive transformation happening here. Hold on for a sec. So there, sorry, I have to tell my kid to turn it down. Like, I can't handle gunshots right now. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm so sorry for the interruption. Um, so yeah, this manifest this this devil energy that's happening here is because of what he's invested his time in. He put it put his money, he created, he made a contract with this demon. So he built a foundation here with the four of wands, but okay, with this foundation, he's gonna have to accept that it's coming to an end. He's going to have to take maybe a loss, a hit, okay, because there's massive transformation here. So this masculine is putting an end to it. I feel that uh, then you'll see some massive um, shifts that start to happen. This is also about institutions, right? Uh, it could be a religious, a religion factor that he's in, because um, I don't play into religion. I'm going to be honest. I believe religions have been siphoned. I believe there's truth in all religions, but I don't believe in any scripture <laughs> so i'm just going to tell you that now um because it's an institution that was used to control man and this is what i'm seeing in this that this institution could be a religion that's keeping him stuck in a marriage could be a belief system of what god and demons are and maybe what he's been praying to the whole time what he thought was a god it was not a god uh, maybe he's doing spell work thinking that he's you know working with uh different deities and stuff like that but he's realizing that's not his calling either whatever he's done there's been an investment here in this home life but that is definitely coming to an end okay 
Uh, how is this masculine towards his destiny spirit? How is this masculine towards his destiny of a reconciliation? He's not going to juggle this anymore. He he knows that he's abandoned it. We have the two, the two of uh, pentacles in reverse with the five of pentacles and the ten of cups. Okay, so what's happening here is he's not going to juggle anymore of what he's you know he has to abandon it. He has to abandon what he's doing. He abandoned his mission. He abandoned God. He abandoned his heart, his soul. And um, he knows that he can't juggle this anymore. He can't go back and forth anymore. So he is completely aware of that. And this is why he's putting an end to the situation. So how has God led this masculine priest to wake up? Excuse me. Basically, the hermit in reverse and said, you need to become single. Okay, you need to come out of your shell. We have the page of wands in reverse. You have to get off of this path. So he knows very clearly, God's guiding him to do this, that this is unrequited love and you have to break it down with the tower. Okay, you have to break down the structure that you built because it was with double energy. Okay, and how is the divine leading the divine feminine here spirit? clarifying the star with the high priestess we have you've been very wounded okay so you can't even move right now divine feminine it could have been a very harsh you've been battling this i can see that you can see this devil coming after your masculine you've been feeling it because they come after the other twin as well um email me if you want to work with me in regards to um alleviating dark energies and things like that i can't do a reading but i do coaching sessions it's on my website and if you're new it's the starlight package we we i get direct messages on how you can alleviate um, your situation um, but we do work with Christ so if you have a problem with Christ I won't be able to help you um, and this energy has been really defeating and see there's two uh, cougars or two cats at the top this is divine masculine this is you and your masculine or you and your feminine right here at the top of the cliff and this devil has come in trying to chase away you know the Holy Spirit chasing away God chasing away but that's because like God's always there. The God's never far. Or chasing the divine masculine and, and kind of separating him from his body even for some of them. But chasing away this divinity is what this is representing because of um, this contract here. That this masculine's done with some karmic energies, okay? So it's in reverse and God really needs you to get up divine feminine here, okay? Trying to gain your strength. And that sense of course the strength didn't show up. This nine of cups energy, you have to surrender. What you had with your masculine in the past was just the nine of cups. Okay, what you want with your divine masculine, the spirit is bringing up your wishes, your desires, your heart. You have to grieve that that was only nine of cups energy. God wants to bring you into ten of cups energy. And this is what I was feeling was you've got to bring your vibration into more of a pure on a setting and to let go of what was because this is opening up and letting go with the four of pentacles in reverse because it was just a nine of cups god has a bigger plan for you with your person and it's a complete surrender of the that old vibration of what you had what could have been should have been would have been had to be all of that um, and to give that to spirit in a very humble way and to take responsibility here divine feminine because you are affecting this connection and helping the masculine and you're helping yourself and this masculine is doing his transformation so you see he's already putting an end to certain things divine feminine and this connection it's your turn now to move into that next vibration to move into that because everything is very slow moving which is that Knight of Pentacles. But that slow movement is actually helping you see clearly of what's actually happening in the energies. It's the Two of Swords in reverse. And um, it's showing you where things have been completely blocked with your Divine Masculine. He's been siphoned into like some type of narcissistic mode. And so, again, he may want to come forward and rush towards you and message you. But you have to be able to see clearly divine feminine. And this could be vice versa. It could be the feminine wanting to do this to the masculine. You may, feminine may want to be moving. I'm sorry, I mostly read for feminines. That's like 99% of my viewers. Um, so I'm sorry if you're masculine. But there's definitely like um, 
a lot of um yeah uh if the feminine it's you that really wants to move forward and message this masculine he's still not ready he's still in a type of blocked narcissistic mode so just be aware of where you're at right now because that's why you pick the observation card right you have to see how things are happening in your connection but spirit is definitely it's very much protected it's very much moving forward um, we're going to get a message from spirit now of what God wants with this connection and how God is leading you both in this connection okay and we're gonna also get some messages from your person and that will be your reading if you like this reading guys uh, I am running readings for the month of June. Make sure you email me. And um, please don't email me for readings. I'm getting a lot of religious jargon, and I don't appreciate that. Just email me if you're interested in a reading. I get a lot, and I have to sift through a lot of stuff. So what is going on here with... Thank you. How is God leading this connection for pal number one spirit? How are you leading this? Uh, we're going to take them. The first one is karmic relationships, Orion energy, polarity, soul growth, and conflict. So that's what I was saying. There, there is probably a karmic situation that's happening here that's keeping this separation. That's that dark energy, okay? Spirit is saying with that, uh, you and your person are part of a star family calling your support. So spirit wants that prayer to happen here. Call in that light. Call in this beautiful light. It just, you see how it chases away the darkness. And trust your star family are of higher beings. Okay? So I'm not asking you to pray to aliens. I'm asking you to ask God. Go and say to, to spirit and say to the one God, to my creator, please, you know, please bring in all of uh, this light and, and feel that in your prayer um, to alleviate to this. Okay? To bring in it's really it's uh, you guys are looking at each other from afar like i see you over there but there's still stuff to clean up and so this prayer and connecting to your soul family call in support call it in spirit is really asking you to get very serious about prayer okay and here we have jump in androgynous and draw and draw i can never say that Androgyn energy. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Adventure. Say yes to change. So this is this is divine feminine energy moving, surrendering this connection, moving on. Right. It doesn't mean that you leave a person behind. It means that a new vibration has to be cultivated within yourself. Deep forgiveness, deep gratitude. Okay, and the ability to let this go right now, so that spirit can have space to work in your connection to bring it back together. Um, let's get some messages from your person. Oops. And that will be your reading. Don't forget to like and subscribe, you guys, if you really like this reading. Um, I support twin flames and high level soulmates, and I talk a lot about alchemy and dark shadow work and things like that. So, um, I have healed massive amounts of abuse in my life and dark energies and black magic in my life so um again if you are interested send me an email if you would like to work with me um just don't <laughs> propagate my email <laughs> i can sell you something i, I just just i want to work with people and help people who are really serious about this work all right spirit what messages for pal one from their person thank you it's masculine energy is really talking here got a feminine energy they want me to take these so a lot of masculine energy here okay speaking to you pile number one this is what i was saying especially if you're divine feminine you guys are highly psychic okay we have here whew, masculine energy i didn't trust the intensity now i know better please forgive me okay so there has to be some level of forgiveness he was not aware of how intense or what this was, the, the holiness of this, okay? You are the most beautiful incarnation of femininity I have ever been blessed to cross paths with. Wow, you are the most beautiful incarnation of femininity. I can't. That's so beautiful. So beautiful. 
Yeah. That's your masculine too. Divine feminine. And you're right in the middle here almost. Well, there's you've got three after. Divine feminine. I am releasing that I want to fix us, to fix you, to fix me. I'm starting to understand that I can't fix anybody, not even myself. Nothing needs fixing, but everything needs love. I'm working on love in the deepest sense of knowing myself better. Oh my God, that's such a validation of what this reading brought through. Your love is so beautiful. You're really trying to do that work, Divine Feminine, keep going, hold that purity of that love and forgive and gratitude. It's going to shift this connection, okay? Here we go from your masculine. I'm having breakthroughs in my healing. Can you feel me, my darling? I can't wait to show you the new me. I want you to be proud of me. Oh my God, I'm going to cry. He's like, yeah. I'm doing it. And that's why that's shifting, okay? So I know you guys may have been in separation for a little bit, but it's happening, okay? There's definitely this darkness that is losing its grip, so keep going, okay? Please know every night you are my last thought and every morning my waking desire. Ooh. Yes, you are. Wow. Some profound messages from your masculine. If I could turn back time, I know I would have done things differently. Please forgive my shortcomings. Oh, this masculine really wants your forgiveness. Really wants you to open that heart and let him in. Okay? I know that can be hard, Divine Feminine. I know. I have trouble with that, too. Uh, just keep going, you know? It's hard to keep moving forward into a new vibration and still hold that love. But we have to let go of what's been and welcome what's coming. So much love, you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and email me if you'd like a reading. I'd love to hear your comment on this. Bye. Hello, pile number two. You picked this beautiful queen of pentacles. I did cover it up so you didn't, you may not have known which one it was, but it is the queen of pentacles with the card love. Live your truth and share the love that is in your soul this is really beautiful and so we're going to be doing an interconnection spread with your divine counterpart which is the king of pentacles in this deck which is my deck which is the cosmic tarot and when i intuitively picked these spirit first showed me the queen of i went actually my mind went showed me eh, can i talk first of all i saw the queen of pentacles so but then i was like oh but i want to do the queen of cups and then spirit backtracked me and said remember i showed you you it caught your eye and so i have to go by those signs of when something catches my eye i do it instead of me rationalizing it so i went back and picked this so there's a reason for that and spirit is saying it's because this is an, a connection that wants to ground okay this is about manifestation creation um building a legacy together uh uh yeah this is like very earthy couple uh, could be into plant medicines, could be into uh, natural ways of living, natural diet, um, health could be a big concern for you guys as well um, in regards to, you know, maybe working out and maybe training, maybe opening a gym together or something like that could be um, in regards to really honoring the earth in a big way. Um, yeah, and just really bringing what you desire now into the 3D plane. So we're going to see how Spirit is guiding this connection. This is an interconnection spread. And um, I hate that I don't have my overhead view that I usually do when I'm in Canada. But um, I'll try to hold it up. Uh, I apologize if I can't because this deck is very slippery. Let's see what I mean. Uh, this is a gypsy spread that a lady who identified as gypsy taught it to me when I was a child. So what is going on with problem number two, Spirit? How are you guiding this connection, Spirit? How are you guiding this connection? Thank you. Okay, we're going to take a look at the bottom first. Okay, we have the wheel. So this is a faded connection, and the wheel is turning now in your connection. Which ma it makes complete sense, because that's why it's grounding here. We have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So there's no communication, and things may have come to a sudden halt. Uh, a standstill is what I'm feeling. We have the Page of Cups in reverse. You may want to look at Pile 1 as well, because they got the Page of Cups in the exact same position, which is action, which means you're not loving yourself enough. 
emotionally insta instability for both of you, okay, uh, with you and your person. So you may want to look at Pell one because it's in the exact same spot. That may resonate. And we have two of wands in reverse, which means that a decision has been made. So I feel the wheel is turning in this connection, but there still needs to be more love. We're going to take the top and we're going to see how the energies are interconnecting at where you are with your person right now. So Spirit is saying that it's halted right now. Spirit is not moving you guys forward. I mean, slowly, because the wheel, it is faded. It is a slow movement, but it's kind of at a standstill right now because of an aspect of self-love. Someone may need to apologize is what I'm hearing, and that hasn't come through, so it's left things very much... Uh, up in the air kind of ghost in energy and two of wands is a decision so let's see where you guys are at in your connection now, i don't know if i'm going to be able to hold this up for you guys i'm sorry i'm going to try if it falls apart yeah like you see how slippery that is it's <laughs> you'll see what i mean if it flips and it falls apart i'm not going to be able to i, I apologize it's a very cool spread and i wanted to do it but i, I don't know I don't think it's gonna keep so oops yeah it's falling apart already so Okay, so we have the star here, okay? I'll flip it, usually flip it this way. We have the king. You guys are in complete separation. You may well have to kick through. You guys are on either end here, okay? I'm gonna maybe see if I can hold it like this quickly. <gasps> see, yeah. <laughs> maybe I won't do that. I won't, it's gonna mess up the reading. So, already it's just, yeah. These cards are not made for it. Um, there's definitely an energy here. We're just going to leave it here. Um, it's too fragile. So that could be also a sign with your connections. If you're at a fragile point right now um, because it has halted. So Spirit is showing me that there is a dream here with the Seven of Cups. There is a wanting to come forward with each other uh, with the... Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I get a little anal when my cards are... <laughs> situation so I can read um, yeah this is a destined connection we have the star but there's a lot of healing of this fantasy and dream world you guys are thinking of each other you could be having a lot of telepathy together but it's kind of what I'm seeing is there still needs to be some healing in order for this dream to be completely grounded and planted. Now, it's interesting that I said I wanted to pick the Queen of Cups, but here she is. There's a reason. See, there's a reason for everything. Because <laughs> so I was going to pick the Queen of Cups and Spirit's like, no, no, you need to go back and get the Queen of Pentacles that I showed you. And the reason is because this Queen of Cups could be a water sign. That is a karmic situation. That is something that's keeping you guys in separation as well. So there's an illusion with the karmic energy that's keeping it things in separation. You may definitely want to go look at group one because they're just, I mean, pretty dead on here. Group one and group two. But Spirit is showing me like this angelic force and God and Spirit is really kind of healing this and healing this karmic energy here it's a big burden between the two of you the ten of wands is also separating you both here so there's a big burden that's happening in regards to you guys not being able to be together and this karmic energy is definitely still trying everything to keep you two apart from this dream that you want it's, it's created a lot of confusion Wow, and this is a divine love, too. So it's like, live your truth and share the love that is in your soul. So Spirit is really bringing that through to really come into a place of deeper connection within yourself, with Spirit, with your Creator, and to hold that pure, pure vibration right now, because that is the only thing that's going to help heal. And this is like... The emotional instability this is like to give yourself this love 
you know, I picked this card when I created the Page of Cups because it's like she's all dolled up. She's loving herself. She's a little bit different. She dyes her hair blue. She, uh, she, and I'm not talking about aesthetics, but it's like the, you know, I'm weird. I'm going to express it. And that's like a form of my self-love. I'm going to like wear a stupid shell on my head and walk around like a mermaid. Like, I don't care what people think. I love this card. So it's like I'm going to wear the tutu. It can just look a little weird. And that's my expression of my self-love. And spirit wants you to be able to do that. Okay, so let's take a look at um, this dream that you two have together because, yeah, it's this Ten of Cups. It's a very magical, dreamy, like, connection. It's like, is this reality? And it may have been too good to be true, and that's maybe what it, you know, the magic was so intense that it was like, is this really a real thing? Um, and so it's they're still healing. It's destined. Okay, this is a destined connection. We have the star, which was also in group number one. So this is a destined connection. It's going to heal, and the conflicts are going to end here. So this karmic energy is all is trying to heal right now. They feel, as much as you feel, viewer, that this is your destiny. They feel that this is their destiny. Now this queen of pentacles, okay, could be an earth sign, is the uh, true karmic person i'm not saying if you're a water sign it's not but you have to take with how your situation resonates what is this queen of cups here this is the karmic energy <sighs> thinking that it's their destiny but they see very clearly now that it's this me another one they really believe it they see clearly that they're 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 trying to give yeah what is going on with that Okay, we've got a few here. So we have the Two of Swords in reverse with the Six of Pentacles upright, with the Nine of Pentacles, okay, with the Ace of Cups in reverse, the Four of Cups, and the Fool. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is they're seeing very clearly that in order for them to get anything reciprocal, you may want to watch. This is resonating with the karmic reading that I just did. You may want to go watch that that they're going to give this singlehood to this masculine and they're going to be single um, because they know it's unrequited and they're really sitting in this loss here, okay, of what they've lost with this Four of Cups and they want to start, they're going on a new beginning. Um, but it's still causing a separation. So it's not really authentic. It's not what I'm getting. So then why is there a separation? Yeah, because they're still trying to block the divine feminine. They could be doing spell work. They could be doing dark magic. They could be uh, doing all kinds of stuff to get into the energy, doing plant medicine, and then going into the energies to manipulate it. People do that. Dark shamans do that too. They try to hijack visions and energies. Um, it's a very difficult place to heal. Um, you would need a shaman like me to come and do medicine with me <laughs> to uh, alleviate that because I can move into your visions with you. Um, but yeah, this is um, placation because there's still a separation that's happening. So they may come across as, yeah, we can just be friends and I'll just move on and it's fine. But they really have a belief system that this is their destiny. How does this karmic feel towards this divine feminine? Well, this masculine's about to action this divine feminine. So not happy about that. How does this karmic feel towards this divine feminine? Well, this masculine is completely blocked. Yeah, returning to the past. So this masculine's deaf. This karmic knows what's up, okay? This karmic knows you. You definitely need to watch that karmic reading. I know it's like an hour long, but it's definitely going to be worth it. Um... <laughs> This karmic energy is, you know, here going, this mask wants to uh, come towards you, action you, and I'm being left in abandonment, okay? This is why they're angry as hell. We have the devil in reverse, so ending toxicity, a divorce. This mask one's in pain and is completely blocked from his heart and from a place of surrender, okay? So this mask knows with this queen of cups that he's not this person's person but this queen of cups thinks that he is and returning to the past so i'm gonna just do a little extra for you because there's something else that's a little sneaky here i'm gonna pull out these emotional wounded cards here because i don't buy it this is the sneaky shit that <laughs> you need to go look at that karmic reading guys because if that's the case that this karmic really felt this way she would not be in 
between the two of you. She would be, you know, kind of, she wouldn't be on the outskirts, but she probably wouldn't even show up in the reading. Okay. Or it would have been in a place that ran parallel to the energies, not a place where they're intersection, intersecting the energies. Okay. So this karmic is still influencing the connection. Where is this karmic's emotional energy towards let's just find out two cards what is this karmic's energy towards the queen of pentacles the divine feminine this is what they're doing to the divine feminine hoarding i can't even you need to go look at that same card that came up in the uh karmic reading i just posted it with the big eye the, the thumbnail is the eye okay with the two other people that the karmic knows about this connection and using it to hoard in her mind you need to go watch that reading so they're still doing black magic towards the divine feminine still doing what they can um and what are they doing towards the divine masculine they feel completely betrayed okay and neglect they feel because they feel neglected towards the divine masculine so they're taking it out on this divine feminine okay and doing black magic completely with demons and sending demons to the divine feminine and all of that you've got to divine feminine claim your righteousness in your union you say to yourself i claim my twin flame union i claim my twin flame union and say that in three six and nine sequences repeatedly and do that three six and nine three in the do that three times in the morning six times in the afternoon nine times in the evening and you can say a statement that way claim it and then prayer massive prayer okay massive prayer god will make that alignment happen because this karmic is still very rapid i feel in group one it's diminishing a little bit more but this is very rapid rapid here how is this masculine um towards this karmic energy right now well, he's ending this third party situation he's it's a lot of drinking a lot of partying he's like that's not the life so i want i don't i did that when i was in high school thanks like look can we grow up already third party situation three of pentacles in reverse so he's definitely not playing in this third party anymore with this karmic he's delaying things so why is he delaying and why is he not ending things so he yeah there could have been a marriage he's learned lessons but it could have been a marriage about this queen of wands in reverse this is karmic energy again and so what about this hierophant in this marriage here yeah he's ending it okay so he's making a decision about it as we speak it's caused a lot of burdens here for divine feminine god is um let's see what god is doing god what are you doing spirit what are you doing with this healing to heal the illusions between the twins i feel this karma caused a lot of lies between the twins said that this this queen of pentacles that the empress was evil that this empress was doing black magic that this empress and, and i feel this this karmic energy tried to turn a lot of people against this empress i feel there's a whole community of people that she lied to to keep this masculine i think it's been a very difficult road for this masculine and i think divine feminine you're realizing people that wanted to work with you people that wanted to be in your life people that you know were part of your soul tribe family just stopped talking to you saying that you're evil you're not you're highly psychic and you're highly intuitive so you need to watch, watch pile one you know what's going on people get jealous i'm just gonna say people get jealous when you have gifts sorry when the sun shines it just keeps shining and if people can't take the shade i uh, can't take your light they can go find the shade right too bad so sad let's take a look at this how god is leading it okay is revealing the truth the high priestess in reverse because the secrets are coming out of the deception now exactly what i was saying spirit is bringing out the truth to everybody that this karmic has hurt and to everybody she is a lying piece of work let me tell you um and so you are getting karmic justice i wouldn't be surprised if the justice card showed up this emperor by showing him the truth and what path he needs to go on with the page of wands with the ace of swords to communicate with the divine feminine to talk about the truth to break the illusions of what has been revealed the dishonesty in this okay spirit is really guiding divine masculine here to take that sort of truth for this ace of pentacles to offer this to divine feminine so why is he not doing it right now because we still have emotional love here self-love for the divine masculine he knows he has to come forward what i was saying about apologies that he has to he's not ready to apologize yet for this ten of swords that's going to take him deep 
right? Remember, apology is not just the words. It's this masculine really feels it. That means he's going to cry. He's going to be humble to you. And he wants to see you face to face or he wants to organize something to see you face to face if you're at a distance. Because I feel some of you are at a distance here. And there's definitely, um, he wants to apologize. It's not that he... He, he's not just withholding it. He wants to focus and work on this with you, okay? So spirit is really pushing Divine Masculine to move into this. Um, and how is the God leading the karmic energy? To persevere through their... Uh, to create what they desire in their life, okay? That they can be victorious elsewhere, that they're actually missing opportunities because they're hanging on to this masculine. So God is leading this karmic to say, look, bitch, please, you go create. If you're so powerful, why are you creating in darkness? Why do you keep doing this? Why don't you go create? Stop juggling this, okay? Why don't you go create elsewhere? Pick yourself up as the wounded warrior. Pull up your big girl panties. Like, come on, grow up. Grow the hell up. Stop trying to manipulate the situation. Move forward. You're missing opportunities. You're missing life. You will be victorious elsewhere. This is not your people. Like, this is not your tribe. It's not your tribe. Move on, okay? She's done a lot of damage. And this masculine is what I'm getting. This really strong, brilliant masculine that you have here is going to have to clean up her mess, is going to have to go to a lot of other people in his family and his friend circle to clean up what this woman has done um, and to clean it up with you. So God is really leading this masculine to do that and pushing this karmic situation out. But again, you you need to go look at pile, uh, not pile, well, pile one, you got a few to watch on my channel, pile one and the karmic energy reading that this karmic knows about this connection because they're still trying to hang on here because they're hoarding they're hoarders right and that takes years to heal so they're trying to there it was about them trying to rush their healing and say i'm healed i'm healed and look at that the wind came and blew the masculine off the table he doesn't want to be part of this situation anymore <laughs> Thank you, Father Wind, uh, Brother Wind, Spirit. It came and blew the masculine off the table and said, I don't want to be a part. This is too much drama for this masculine. He's ready to come towards you. That's how I see that. All right. Okay, let's see how God is leading this connection, guys. Um, that was very interesting. How is Spirit leading this connection? God, how are you leading group number two, please? How are you leading this connection, Spirit? So this is ready to ground. This, this, this masculine is so done with this. He's like, I'm out of there. This is about divine love. This is about the truth of your soul. And this masculine, that's why you picked this, this card. This masculine is like knowing that. Okay. Wow. Okay. Divine masculine. There's still a little self-love, but it's like more about the apology now that needs to come forward. Okay. So you got to keep loving yourself. Divine feminine is what you're doing. Okay. Keep doing that. Uh, Spirit, can you please... The one true creator, can you please give us a, a message in regards to how are you guiding this sacred connection, please, sir? Pile number two. We have two. Okay. This connection is going through deep cellular healing. Arcturus energy, physical and emotional healing. Okay, so this has been a DNA activation. You guys are, again, something about the physical world deep probably big structures you're supposed to build here big big new ways of living uh processes policies could be working in government could be trying to change government structures changing uh, court rules all of these things laws all of those kinds of things is what i'm seeing creating um foundations that are going to preserve our, our planet things like that so this is deep cellular healing this is um to bring in physical and emotional abundance to the world and this is where god has been leading you and that's why this separation has been so difficult for you guys because it's been a very deep like physically taxing on you you're tired you're like done right that's why the mask can blew off the table i'm out of here it's like i i need my feminine now like we need to do this healing and that's where god is leading this we have the sea of mintaka this is beautiful look up the sea of mintaka it is about, I think it's a holy place. I'm not entirely sure, but it's about cleansing waters, seeing potential, bringing unconsciousness to light. So that's what Spirit was saying in this connection. A lot of the illusions are breaking. 
there's a purification process that's happening here and there's a lot of emotions between you guys and um, a lot of what you couldn't know before is coming to the light for you to to heal it together really beautiful this karmic is going to move I think but again you need to watch that because every situation is different but um, spirit is pushing this karmic out so you keep up your prayer okay divine feminines let's get some messages from whoop, it's also slippery let's get some messages let's do it over here let's get some messages from your person um, number two please spirit can we get some messages please the black is divine feminine the white is divine masculine we're going to see if you get a message, if you're, it doesn't matter about gender. It is the energy that's speaking to you. It's what your energy, your person is connected to at the time of this reading. So if it's a masculine that you're asking about, but it's an all black message, it means that he's definitely connected to the feminine energy within him and hearing the messages that you're sending. Okay, so that use it like that. Okay, what is going on with Pal 2? What messages does their person want to send them? A lot of masculine. You may want to watch Pile. You may want to watch pile one. They had a lot of masculine messages as well. I think yours are all masculine messages. So let's take a look here. Wow. Let's we'll start with a really long one. We have this one here. Oh, you can pause it if you want to read it yourself. Sorry. There you go. It was never you. It was always me. I ran because I didn't know how to explain something I couldn't grasp. In all honesty, you awakened me out of a deep slumber, and I couldn't articulate what I was experiencing. Then I felt ridiculous. <laughs> oh God, I got stuck in the tongue loop. As more time went on, my self-worth and inadequate feelings in cre uh, created a never-ending loop of self deprecation oh that's so horrible that was that was the pattern they were stuck in okay the next message from the masculine i remember every word you said to me i am applying everything you told me to my life wow they're really listening to you divine feminine and applying what you've taught them in the time that you were together and the Divine Masculine, I knew it was you. And the more we got to know one another, something stirred deeply within me. You fascinate me. You have awakened a part of me I had forgotten. In fact, I didn't even know this type of love even existed. Whoa! Oh, that is hot. That is hot. All right? Energy is about where it's at, man. I don't give a shit. I don't give a crap what the person looks like. This energy, whoo! That energy is everything. Oh my God, that is beautiful what your masculine is saying to you, Divine Feminine. Please allow me space in all energies. I can't handle us in the physical nor in the telepathic energetic realm. So he needs some space to clear this up, okay? So he's doing his best to clear it up. He's leaving the situation. So please, Divine Feminine, give him the space. You hold your ground. Beautiful messages. Keep doing what you're doing. If you want a reading and you want to know much more detailed information, we can get very detailed. Uh, hit me up with an email. We can work that out. I am open only for June, guys. It's so get on that. And please like and subscribe and comment. And I would love to hear how this resonated for you guys. Bye. Hey, pile number three. You picked the temperance card with the inner alchemy. And the inner alchemy card says... Inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love. So this is really about bringing your inner light to anything that is fearful. Now, I picked, I intuitively picked temperance. I was picking, I usually use emperor and empress to do the interconnection spread, but spirit guided me differently in this reading. And so I don't know what complements temperance as a divine masculine. So I picked out all the divine masculines like the Hierophant, the Emperor, the Magician, and the King of Cups, Swords, and all the other suits. So we're going to see what spirit uh, picks for the masculine for pile number three, which maybe this is something we can do. Again, um, I really like this. So what masculine energy is for pile three, please, spirit? What masculine energy? Thank you. So we have the King of Pentacles came out. Okay, so... This is about grounding, temperance, patience, harmony, reconciliation. You two may be coming into a reconciliation, which is really beautiful. Um, and this is the Starman deck. 
so let's take a look and see. Oh, these are a little big to shuffle. We're gonna do our best here. My hands aren't that big. Um, yeah, so this is really about the star uh, star seeds here. If you're a star seed, okay, uh, if you resonate with that. Um, this is about finding the harmony and balance between tempering yourself and the inner alchemy. It's very magical and it's almost that this divine feminine is able to work in the ethers, temper those energies, the feelings, and um, very soft, beautiful energy I'm getting, very pure energy. I feel that um, it's hard for you to be that hard warrior woman. Not that you don't have that in you, but that there's such a depth of softness that I'm feeling. Um, that I don't get often from a reading. So this is a pure sensitive soul that is grounding with this masculine. He absolutely loves that childlike quality, the purity about you to ground, to build structures here. It's almost like he's floating on this like structure that he's built here with this ladder and um, wants to show you how he can build anything because it's almost like impossible to even get the stability here. But he's like, I can build anything. With your magic temperance, I can build anything. <laughs> With your magic, we can float. We can build anything. We can control the weather is what I'm getting here, too. With this cloud, it's almost like even in the darkness when it rains, I still can build and give you this pentacle. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter um, because this there's a purity here with temperance that this masculine sees you as an angel, really. So... Let's see this interconnection spread and how spirit is leading this connection. I'm going to take from the bottom. We have the star. Well, the star came up in all three readings so far. So the star here, this is a destined twin flame connection spirit is bringing up. We have the ten of cups in reverse. So this may have been pushed away, this ten of cups. Um, but what's being in the action mode right now is the Two of Cups. So, wow, this is beautiful. There, this is You guys are a powerful inner alchemizing type of uh, couple here. Um, it's getting a little dark. I'm just going to turn on the light. Just give me a sec. Sorry, guys. I hope that's better. So, yeah, this is um, <laughs> some beautiful energies. The Ten of Cups is just right there, you guys. It is a destined calling. So there's something with the inner alchemy with the heart that needs to still be healed, okay, to bring in this 10th cup, um, you're almost there for this union, for this two of cups to happen, and the outcome here is the princess of wands in reverse, so getting off the old path, the page, it's like a, the page of wands, in reverse, letting everything burn down and getting off the old path and moving into something um, different, okay? As I'm saying that, the Fool is also on the bottom there. So something different, a brand new beginning. All right, let's take the top cards. We're not going to look at them yet. We're going to do an interconnection spread that I was taught to me by this amazing gypsy woman that I met when I was just a kid at the cottage. She didn't have any lineage to pass it down to, so she passed it down to me and taught me how to read tarot when I was very little. So <laughs> I was like indoctrinated to this like high priestess thing from when I was little. Kind of cool. Uh, it's one of my favorite spreads. I will do my best to hold it up. I wasn't able for pile two because the cards were too slippery. So let's see how spirit is guiding this. So I hope I can hold it up for you. I think I might be able to. These cards have a little bit of roughness to it. These were designed by David Bowie. I don't know if you guys knew that, but love him. It's pretty cool. So let's take a look here. How spirit is guiding. Oh yeah, we'll be able to definitely hold this up for you guys. Okay, so we have the eight of cups in the middle with the oh, what is that card? That's not temperance. That is the sorry guys, I'm gonna have to take a little peek here. this magician in the middle wow okay i didn't know i don't use these cards often all right i'm just getting a feel for it before i hold this up and show you it's kind of cool eh? i love this um yeah so it's like the eight of cups is here with the magician walking away to manifest and when you, the eight of cups is about going into the unknown 
leaving situations that you've known in the past right that's also about inner alchemy right you have to walk into the unknown you have to follow the light of god and so it's like you're walking towards your ninth and your tenth cup that manifestation and so this eighth cup is uh where is the map oh every car every every um has been uh, every massive separation here it's being separated by this what you're manifesting here how you're creating so of course you picked inner alchemy there's a misunderstanding of manifestation and co-creation okay and how i'm seeing this is like when i turn it this way <laughs> temperance divine feminine is upright masculine is upside down okay so it's not grounding for masculine the creator force energy and the eight of cups is upside down so that means that you're unable to move on from certain situations so divine feminine we have the uh hermit here with the alien going into his cave okay you've got to go in divine feminine we have the sun at the top for illumination you are illuminated here divine feminine that you have to continue going within um, and you have this inner knowing about you with the eight of cups in reverse in the middle of the reading in order to alchemize this is that you have to continuously clear and keep doing that and keep going deep within that cave uh, to bring in that illumination um, but there's something that you're missing because it's not grounding for the masculine it's grounding for yourself so some of you may have abandoned this twin flame connection of thought oh, you know what screw it i'm just going to do me but you're finding that you are that's why this ten of cups is in reverse that's exactly what it is you're so close um but that also means that um you're doing it from yourself for yourself instead of what spirit is trying to lead you into a mission and when that happens sometimes we look at like well i have to do this job i can't like i can't go on youtube or i can't you know do this so there's something in your mission work is what i'm getting that spirit wants you to reevaluate either start the blog or just start small because what you're thinking your foundation is is not the foundation because it's not grounding in the masculine energy okay and when i turn it this way the opposite way and we have the masculine so this the, the alchemy the manifestation right is um keeping you in separation this masculine is illuminated as well um but he's pulled back and he's still doing his inner work because he's in the cave the divine feminine is coming out of the cave to ground and to manifest but she's not happy about it so that's what the sun was in reverse for the divine feminine and that's also the part of like you have a deep knowing that it may be that you're going back and forth divine feminine like why do i keep getting pulled back to this like no i don't want to be a tarot reader like i fought with this for a long time you guys i was like i don't want to be known as a psychic i don't know why i had this thing that's <laughs> so crazy um i know i'm like i'm not a medicine woman like it's it's so hard to move i feel like you're a very successful divine feminine but i feel that there's something that's very interesting to you um that you know that you want to start it could be writing a book it could be running a yoga class it could be i don't know what it is but there's something spirit wants you to dig deep that you're not quite looking at here's the wind is blowing the reading now in my hand do you see that god's like yes that's right you need some encouragement to do this okay um that's your destiny you don't want your destiny to fly away it's not going to fly away but to move towards your destiny is what i'm getting and um divine masculine here is really at a place of um grounding it and pulling and doing his inner work okay so i feel the divine feminine is a little resistant here let's clarify this ten of cups for in the distance for divine feminine what is that for divine feminine yeah she started a new beginning but it's not it's not god's offer here so you may have just recently gone to a new relationship or you may be looking to get into a new relationship or you're really looking and you're walking away and that's completely fine there's lessons and everything but there's something that they're blocking in your heart that they don't want you to do because it's not creating something stable for yourself and what about this ten of cups in reverse for the divine masculine well that happens the masculine can't manifest until the divine feminine does and so he's at his end very frustrated he's trying to take responsibility he's nearing the end of his ownership for his soul and doing that deep work so he's really coming to an end with that and the queen of pentacles but you're at a distance you're nowhere in sight 
I, I feel that this is a group that you may not want this person back. I mean, I think you're contemplating because you're either dreaming about them or, I mean, you always have regrets about this. It may also be that it's going to change your life in such dramatic ways that you're not entirely sure. You could be a very prominent business person, you know, have your own business or um, very successful. I, I know what that's like, but there's also this thing called toxic independence. I kind of had that my, most of my life. I've always been the breadwinner and I've always been the successful one and um, I'm always taking care of everybody. But that's also a way of toxic independence where I've come into a place where spirit is making it like, no, you need to ask for help, which is why I'm here with my family because I can't do it by myself anymore. I'm too soft now. <laughs> so spirit is like bringing this up because there's something about this divine feminine. Okay, so what is this divine feminine? need to do here spirit okay there's, there's a lot of advice here for you divine feminine king of wands so there's an, a masculine definitely want to come towards you but this is when you're in your imbalanced space i feel that somebody else you may be having somebody else that's coming in you're manifesting something else we have the yeah because the knight of uh, pentacles in reverse because things are stuck with this person and we have judgment you want a reconciliation but you want a renewal in yourself it's not happening so you decided to move forward elsewhere um, the page of I don't know what this is yeah the page of swords and Rever there's no communication here with you in this masculine who is this king of wands you may not be in a relationship yet but you may be manifesting something else six of swords yeah you're moving forward with somebody else okay um, and that's fine it depends on what you want but there's a sense of instability here with this offer you may get two people coming forward. This masculine may come towards you. We're just going to take a look here because this stability is nine of wands with the three of cups in reverse and the five of pentacles. You're banding a third party situation. It could have been a third party situation that you weren't going to partake, partake in. Could have been over drinking, over partying, just a lifestyle that you didn't want with this divine masculine that you're asking about. And uh, the nine of wands, you persevered and moved on with your life. So let's see what's going on with the masculine energy. What is this divine masculine towards this? Um, so yeah, you guys are in complete separation. This masculine wants to ground it with this happiness, um, with this manifestation that he wants to manifest with this divine feminine. He knows that he was a failure. He feels like a failure. He feels almost like things failed in the past, and he understands that, okay? Um, and... The route that he took either with a third party or whatever decisions he made in the past were did not bear any fruit, okay? And I feel that he couldn't invest in this situation anymore and things failed. And it could have been with you, Divine Feminine, that he couldn't see how it could bear fruit. And so he thought automatically he could have self-sabotaged himself too for some of you that this is never going to work because, oh my God, she lives here and we're of different races or we're different cultures and I just don't know how that's ever going to work. And he may have self-sabotaged the situation, um, but he's realizing that in his conflict, you are his Ten of Pentacles. His masculine loves you. And he's realizing that he may have self-sabotaged this and you may have moved on and decided to find love elsewhere and be like, yeah, well, what do you want me to do? Um, Spirit is saying they're guiding you because this manifestation, let's where Spirit is guiding this, this Two of Cups here. Because the Two of Cups is here, okay? How are you guiding these two, Spirit? We have the Seven of Swords. There was a lot of dishonesty here, deception, um, kind of scooting around issues and to get, make a decision here about your intuition and your inner, deep inner knowing, both of you, that you have to talk about where things that you haven't been able to talk about together, about the dishonesty, about why you did things to so be open and vulnerable. I feel like you two are two powerhouses is what I'm getting. I feel that you both make some decent cash, okay? And um, you both uh, are powerhouses. So there's a stubbornness that's happening in this connection that I'm feeling. <laughs> um, because you're both going to have to get off your path. And you're both have to, gonna have to alleviate your path. Whoa. Uh, tower moment. Cards fell out, okay? A lot of cards fell out, okay? So Spirit is saying, 
yeah, you're both going to have to go through a tower here to be together. We have the Knight of Swords in reverse. You're going to have to put a halt to certain things in your life. As I'm saying that, the tower shows up. Wow. Okay. So listen, Divine Feminine, this is a sacred connection. God is leading it towards this, okay? Whoever is running, I don't know how far you're going to get. I'm going to be honest, but I'm not telling you not to go on in a new direction. We definitely have to move on in our lives. You can definitely move forward, but there is going to be some sort of awakening or a tower moment that is going to eventually come forward here in regards to this divine connection that God is leading forward to break down old structures because I believe one of you or either both of you realizes we both have to let things die, break down before we can be together and there was a resistance, death in reverse to transformation in this connection so Spirit is saying because there was a resistance to this connection, seven of wands in reverse, it's a lot about obstacles you know, those obstacles are going to be broken down, the separation is broken down those obstacles, it's giving it space now to, uh, we have the page, uh, the knight of wands, okay um to stop that back and forth energy, that in, an unstable energy here. King of Cups with the Five of Wands in reverse, he's, this masculine is not fighting his feelings anymore. So Divine Feminine, you may be looking to get involved with somebody else, but um, if you've been questioning, obviously you're watching this, this masculine here, there's definitely a reason for that. This masculine has woken up. What is this masculine in regards to... Um, what was the bottom card here about his illumination? We have the sun and, and upright for him. This masculine with this illumination to this connection. We have the princess is the page of cups in reverse. He realizes that he needs to apologize for this. This one wants to come out. Four of pentacles that he was closed off to his heart. And uh, he was also more aligned head and heart to building a foundation that he may have wanted either with somebody else okay and um it could have been a karmic energy queen of swords in reverse and so he's having a lot of regrets for sabotaging this situation and uh yeah he ended up in an unrequited love situation so if you want inner alchemy this is the connection that is going to bring forward clarify that inner alchemy spirit how you're guiding this connection um is an inner majesty is what i'm hearing wow the world clarifying that inner alchemy what you share the two of you is that you're able to end cycles and start new cycles in really profound ways that's why you're both going to have to leave your old lives behind and i'm even feeling like old businesses okay things and how you created your abundance i'm almost seeing like you know there came a point when i sold my house and got rid of stuff and lived a very minimal lifestyle moved my expenses down i don't need things i don't have anything to be honest i sold everything i'm a very minimalist person and um not that i don't like nice things but you know i'm, I'm looking at building my house here in the rainforest but it's like um you know it's still very minimalistic i'm not a hoarder <laughs> so but this is um certain things is where it wants you to declutter both of your lives to be able to start and start and start and that's what I'm getting is like to surrender what we've known before to move this connection forward but it's a very powerful connection it's going to show you how you can manifest in your world together and um, whatever if there was karmic energies I don't see that coming through I feel that's blocked this masculine is in deep remorse so if you're feeling that there has to be a level of honesty that comes up from both of you okay to move this forward but he he feels so bad all right all right let's see how spirit is leading this connection if you guys like that don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below would love to hear your situation and how this resonated if you would like a reading send me an email i am open for june to do readings so i am looking up again so big to you do that and uh, please don't send me emails about turning to Christ or Allah or whatever, not my thing. Okay, um, just email me if you're interested in my services. I get so many emails, I can't. Okay, um, thank you. Please and thank you. Okay, what is going on? How is spirit leading this connection for pile number three? 
how is the one off grader? Well, you may want to watch call number two. They got cellular healing too. I feel like there's one more. Okay. This connection was so profound because there's deep cellular healing here. Arcturus energy, physical and emotional healing. So this was, you know, healing two things at once, your physical world, your manifestations, how you've created already, and the emotions. And that's why you have inner alchemy, right? You have inner alchemy based on that that inner knowing, you know, of how you're aligning your emotional frequency to match your exterior world and what you want to create. And you both were on somewhat different pages at the time, but I feel like that was because the separation had to happen in order for spirit to bring this back into this deep healing place of, you know, cleansing is what I'm getting for physical and emotional healing. Spirit is leading this into the golden children. Wow. Spirit is saying you guys have like amazing powerhouse energy between you that you're here to build some really profound new world structures to change the planet. Okay. Um, I'm also seeing that you may be like like your tribe and I don't know why like Prince Harry is popping up in my head or royalty or like that level of stature is who you're trying you haven't been able to find yourself tribe family because there's like a higher level it may not be Prince Harry but I'm just saying that as an example like um, there's a higher level of caliber because of the gifts that you can have um, and if that's not resonating, that's for a small percentage of you, okay? But there's something in regards to your ability to manifest really big, okay? We have the golden children, inner child, tenderness, innocence, and rare gifts. And that's why you both have very rare gifts um, that you come from somewhere else that's so rare that those gifts are really needed to build these really big structures because of the pureness and the tenderness and that innocence of that doorway, that portal that's opening up. And that's how spirit is leading you both to walk into this portal together okay i feel spirit is really guiding this to move forward because this is a destined connection here we have the star um i'm going to clarify that right now actually because i didn't do that and i was going to do clarify that star for this connection yeah there's there's a delay here because the egos are still all over the place we have strength in reverse with the ace of wands in reverse so there's a delay that's happening with this destiny right now and this is why okay that you both have to kind of give up and surrender uh what you think the foundation is supposed to look like you know it's like even if you're a distance like do you move to my country do i move to your country it's like no spirit's like i'll tell you you'll know how it's panning out of who needs to go where like just stop worrying about all these little details because spirits in charge here um baby steps action follow your intuition before it makes sense this is a hard one right we're worried about the how right but spirits like no i'm gonna show you the how action follow your inner knowing before it makes any sense at all you're not gonna know why you're doing stuff that's the path of twins you just keep going. You trust. You know. You're like, okay. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I just know I need to. Like when I knew I had to come to Guyana, it's like, do you think I really wanted to come here? Mm hmm. Oh, I never. I never. I had a resistance to Guyana my, most of my life, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I knew I had to come here to heal with my family and to ground something into this land. I don't know what. Now I know. But so it's like that. It's like you have to follow the intuition. You don't know why. You just have to do it. And that's why spirit's leading you on these baby steps. And you may have been feeling that, and that's why you're watching this reading, okay? All right, let's get some messages from your person, Pile 3, and that will be your reading. This is my mirror deck. It's going to be for sale at the end of June, so stay tuned for that. The dark uh, is, the black is the divine feminine, white is the divine masculine, and um, the message is from your person. It means that that's what they're feeling on the inside. So if it's the feminine energy and you're asking about a masculine, he is picking up on your telepathic messages, divine feminine, and vice versa. Okay, so oh, that wind feels nice. What is going on with the divine uh, masculine or feminine messages for pile number three to the viewer, please? Messages from pile. Thank you. Right. 
that one flipped when I was doing it. So, all right. So we have a feminine energy that's coming through. So this is message from your person. They're connected to the feminine energy within them. I believe in God. I believe in me. I believe in you. I trust divine timing. So definitely feminine energy knowing that this is divinely guided and there's nothing that we can do. We have to go on our path. So definitely like if you're moving into something new or you're doing something else, I mean, you have to go with where you're guided. Just know that this connection is being led by spirit and nobody else, right? We have a message from the divine masculine. Be ready. When I return, it's going to blow your socks off. You won't believe the power I have tapped into. I was feeling it. his mask has gone within and he has done his work. And um, he's feeling really bad about this connection. He's working on his self-love, but he's definitely wanting to come towards this divine feminine. Divine masculine message. I need to trust that you won't push me away when I return. Can we please start as friends? I need to find my footing. So they may want to go slow with you, which is King of Pentacles energy, you know. It's not so rushed. It's not the passion. It's very grounded energy, okay? They may want to just be your friend right now to start and see where things go. Divine Masculine. Our love is magic. It's what songs and poems are written about. <laughs> so beautiful. I love you. This masculine is definitely feeling it. All right, guys. That is problem number three is reading. That's all I have for you for your messages. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. If you'd like a reading, send that email. So much love to you guys. Thank you for being here. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hello, pile number four, last but certainly not least, you pick the vice versa deck with the star card, okay, with the destiny card. This card has shown up in every pile, so it's funny that you picked the one that, um, before I did these readings, that it showed up in every pile. So this is a really magical pile as well. We've gotten some really magical groups today. Um, this is really about alchemizing, balancing, and following your destiny. We have stillness is the card that you picked. And it says, reflect on this moment with love, kindness, and compassion. So I really feel that you're at a place of being still and finding your destiny and figuring out your destiny. We're going to take a look a little deeper into this. This is the feminine card. Um, we're going to... I don't, there's not, uh, just like temperance in pile number three, there's not a divine masculine that goes along with this card. This is also a very independent woman um, that doesn't need to be with somebody, but spirit is saying, of course, you deserve to have somebody in your life. And so I picked all the divine masculines out of the deck, and we're going to shuffle and see which one comes out for you as your divine masculine for this star card for pile number, whoa, and that one came out, wow, <laughs> and... It's the King of Pentacles. So a lot of grounding energy. This King of Pentacles is definitely making himself known in the reading. So a lot of earth coming in, a lot of manifestations. It means that something tangible is happening, happened in every single pile. So um, yeah, let's take a look and see what is going on. The King of Pentacles wants to build with this Divine Feminine and wants to build destiny, wants to build um, wherever spirit leads them. There is a stillness that's happening here that you may be opening um, to be still and quiet, to hear your divine masculine, to feel this new level of love and kindness and compassion for each other. Let's see what's going on in this connection here. This is an interconnection spread of where spirit is leading your connection. Let's see what is going on. Thank you. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, I read these upright. Um, we have the Seven of Cups. Okay. And we have the Nine of Wands. All right. So what I'm getting here is uh, there's a lot of planning for the future, looking ahead for this divine balance here. Uh, because he's looking out to the horizons, but he's also holding this yin-yang. And it's really about the work that you need to do to make your dreams happen and to persevere for your dreams. So I feel this is a planning stage of what's happening. Divine Masculine is really planning and Divine Feminine is planning for her life as well. I feel you're both kind of like writing things down in different ways and planning in different ways. Divine Feminine, you'd be definitely like maybe looking at like 
purchasing or investing in your own life and divine masculine may be looking at how to do the same or how to come towards you how to maybe woo you off your feet or something like that so let's see what four cards show up i'm not going to pick them with this pile i feel like i need to do which ones are popping up so all right let's take a look this interconnection spread was given to me when I was just a little girl. She classified herself as a gypsy, and I actually have that lineage in my blood. And um, Romani gypsy, and um, based on our heritage and what we've done to discover, it's kind of cool. So Spirit is bringing up that this is um, some ancient wisdom here coming through with these cards, because this is not something you'll find anywhere else. So let's take a look here. What is going on with this connection? Wow, this is different. So you guys are in complete harmonious union here. Okay, I don't need to flip it. We're just going to flip the upright so I can see it. This divine feminine is holding the destiny down and the masculine is in union in with her. You guys could be together. You guys could be talking. You may be in separation, but you're together in the 5D. And uh, in the ethers, I don't like this 3D, 5D thing, but whatever. Um, <laughs> it is what it is. It's definitely a union here. We have the masculine on top of the feminine. So you guys are coming into union. There's a stillness of the merging of the energies. <clears throat> and this is, see, someone needs to talk. My throat just went. There's definitely a conversation that needs to be had here. There's definitely a merging of your energy, so please be still for the viewer that there is something happening in the ethers to pull you together. This destiny is grounding this Ace of Cups that's here. It's a new beginning in love that's happening out of betrayal. This is transcending. See how it's at the top of her head? Um, she's kneeling here. It's hard to see because the masculine's right on top of her, but like literally, this is like a <laughs> a union that is happening. I'm telling you guys. Oh God, spirit, don't bring up those messages. This is. This is a family channel, I guess. <laughs> um, but there is definitely a ten of swords. <clears throat> God, this, this is a lot of communication that needs to happen here, okay? This ten of swords, whatever betrayal, it's over and done with, okay? And that has been surrendered to the divine. There's a lot of forgiveness in this pile. There's a lot of um, gratitude for in this pile. Whatever's happened has been let go. This masculine, okay, is feeling this divine feminine and is grounding a new beginning he's coming forward he's bringing he's bringing that's exactly what i was feeling he's coming forward to bring you this offer here a passionate new path that he's going to bring this offer because this divine feminine is is surrendering the dark and grounding the love whoa so this is a this is a beautiful beautiful connection here this is really about planning for your future and working on it together and your dreams together and to persevere that and so if you're having doubt that your person didn't want that with you no this person wants that i feel like that's the end of your reading like you're in union you're coming in union <laughs> i'm just kidding let's see this divine feminine um and divine masculine their union together spirit what is this energy here yeah you both have um given each other this love here out of your own abandonment issues right it's coming out of the cold here where you're emotionally unstable you're both you know returning to a place of that self-love and that innocence it's like and and it's not there needs to be communication an apology or some type of communication of, of communication of love that needs to come through here and um both of you definitely want this this masculine is grounding this brand new beginning let's take a look at that this masculine is grounding this brand new beginning here where he's been trapped in the past he was very much stuck with the eight of swords with this um hanged man but he doesn't want to miss any opportunities and is ready to come out of entrapment where he has surrendered you know he almost had to trap himself before he could take this this risk with you you know it's almost like he had to completely put himself in a box to know what that darker energy was, to find it kind of, you know, how you have to kind of like play out all your options. It's kind of like, if I don't play out these options, I may regret it down the path. You know, if I take a leap with my divine feminine, I may regret, you know, not knowing what, what, what else was out there because this is very much a free spirit. Your person's a free spirit, doesn't like to be trapped, but I feel like they entrap themselves, you know, to be able to surrender and come into this place of enlightenment and what they have missed. So now they're willing to take 
that leap of faith with you. Wow, and build something with you with this Three of Pentacles. So however they left and trapped themselves could have been in another third-party situation. It could have been in drugs. It could have been in codependent, whatever. Whatever it was, they needed to go through that to know that they really wanted to build. Sometimes we need the contrast to know what we want here. And yeah, put themselves in conflict to know what they could action. We have the King of Wands here knowing that they had to be defeated in their ego okay in their passion in their lustful ways could have been a sex addiction but for um it could have been um yeah whatever it was to know uh that um defeat that conflict and trap themselves in it before they came towards you divine feminine you've surrendered okay let's first take me to the divine masculine what about this you know offer this passionate offer of starting something brand new he's following his intuition he knows this is a high uh, connection here with the Ace of Swords with the High Priestess. So he's definitely in this amazing place of feeling Divine Feminine, knowing the intuition, knowing the truth of this connection and wanting to come forward, okay, um, with the new beginning. He's not offering anything yet. He's still in a place I was feeling that he's not ready to offer quite yet. Okay, he's still battling his ego and his regrets of what he's done in the past. Okay, we have the five of wands here with the five of cups. So that also means a massive amount of change. Okay, not seeing that there's a rose behind him with these two cups and knowing that he has to erupt, you know, and, and fight for this to come back. So, and to speak that truth. And that's why my throat was clearing a lot because there's a lot of communication this person wants to say to you. Um, there's a lot of battling that was happening here. Um, but there's definitely an aspect that he wants to work on this because this eight of pentacles is here. Clarify the mask and wanted to work. Yeah, he wants a rebirth. We have death, okay, here. So there's a transformation here, death, but there's also the sun on the other side, the dark and the light, the death and the rebirth here of coming into this rebirth situation with you. And he's working really hard on himself. And Divine Feminine is here. They could have been a third party with the Queen of Swords that it was causing so many burdens here, but you're coming to the end of that, okay? There's coming home. Um, that cycle is about to end. So if there was anything... Um, with a third party, it's completely ending. There's a retransfer, a transformation happening in this. So this is why spirit is like, be still. There is a tower moment that is happening here, an awakening here that's happening. Okay, um, so yeah, be still. That's what's happening in this connection right now. Allow these energies to marinate and happen. Um, we have here divine feminine. There was massive betrayal, but you've surrendered that. You're like, I'm done with this betrayal stuff. For your union, um, we have the Six of Cups, wow, of the soulmate connection. Nostalgic about the past, but definitely the innocence and twin flame union happening here, okay? You've let go of the betrayal that it didn't happen when you thought you wanted it to happen or when it was supposed to happen or whatever got hijacked in this connection. You've let that betrayal go. You've surrendered it to spirit. So they're like, still stay still. You got this. You're still doing what you need to do. Your dreams are coming true. We have the Seven of Cups here for Divine Feminine. Yeah. This is you, you know, connecting with friends, your community, you're, you're building things, you're working on yourself, you're celebrating your life and Divine Masculine. You're building your dreams is what I'm seeing here. You're looking at your options. You're, you want to build. You're moving forward in your life. You're happy. You're being still. You have forgiven. You're hitting a new vibration. And what's going on for masculine energy here, please, Spirit? in regards to the seven of cups is the seven of wands removing of obstacles this can be a very difficult challenging card because it's about obstacles building up something but you had to cut a lot of throats to get to the top of this mountain it's a lot of death there you can see skulls and helmets and you had to fight your way to get there and he doesn't want to do this masculine doesn't want to do that looking for a different way of how to um remove the obstacles and come looking at options looking at that's two sevens too right seven seven uh very uncomfortable energy because of the midst of transformation in order to come forward with a decent offer a small offer an olive an olive branch but it's definitely something small right now um He's letting things burn down, four of swords, healing, and wanting to end separation, okay? Yeah, there's a perseverance that's happening here and a transformation. So this masculine's going through massive amounts of changes um, that he's now made the decision to want to come towards you and have this with you. And this divine feminine is grounding 
this ace of cups you guys are in union you guys are working on this together remember you're the only one that showed up together in the middle of the reading that rarely happens so that's a huge sign that you guys are working together cohesively mirroring the higher realms with the lower realms you're both doing the exact same actions you're both going through a transformation divine feminine is uh accessing her dreams and realizing what she wants and divine masculine is also doing the same thing you just may not be seeing the 3d results yet but it's coming so spirit is like stay still and uh, keep allowing you're in a flow of allowing which is really good keep this allowing we have the two of wands here and the eight of cups walking away from things that no longer serve you and moving into the unknown this is the ace of cups this new love that god is bringing through so the spirit is guiding this connection because the reading is how is spirit guiding this connection we're going to move into that now spirit is guiding this love is into the unknown you're not going to know what this path entails and so it's a contemplation to make this decision to go and look out the horizon and be like can i go out there <laughs> like can i move forward can i do this can i go out into that distant horizon and move into this unknown and both of you are agreeing to do this that you know you have to have faith now you're ready for this this type of connection you're ready for this type of movement in this divine love that's what divine feminine you've had to go through some very unknown changes in your life and you've had to accept it and you're willing to be guided that way you're letting um everything fall away that doesn't serve you and walk into that unknown balance of that sun and that moon do you see that's balance like yin yang energy and masculine is definitely feeling that now he's more of a place of his new beginning to come towards you and offer this to you and that's because divine feminine is grounding and walking towards her dreams and letting go of deep surrender spirit is saying both of you are gallantly moving forward very quickly okay what is the stillness with the chariot here for this how are you moving this spirit you're moving this very swiftly together wow okay we have divine feminine energy this is abundant feminine okay who is birthing a new beginning because she's didn't she's done the inner work this is a feminine that is birthing the new beginning so remember it's the feminine energy that leads the way right in twin flame unions um it's her that is birthing the new vibration that is moving things ahead that is grounding that energy and spirit is saying because the divine feminine is gone within and has pulled back her energy in doing this she's followed her intuition here with the moon by going within to ground that new beginning oh my god you guys this is the ten of cups with the two of cups 12 cups oh this is six x which is manifestation of god's love as well it's double-sided six is manifestation but it's also karma ending and this is yeah ten of cups of a new sacred part look at this rainbow beautiful you could be part of the rainbow prophecy as well you can look that up but this is a beautiful this is how spirit's leading that you can't get better than that okay like this is how spirit is leading that number pile number four you cannot get better than the ten of cups and the two of you can't get better than that throw the lovers on top okay maybe in the higher fin but no i i don't know like that is that and even how it looks in these cards it's so illuminating i just i can't i'm obsessed to soak that in like that is oh my god i'm gonna cry that is the one of the most beautiful things i've ever felt it's so freaking ass beautiful it's so beautiful it's so beautiful oh my god what how else are you guiding the spirit this is whatever juggling you have gone through this masculine um realize they want me to take this one yeah yeah he knows that he's gone through a dark path okay so we've got quite a few cards that came out here this masculine has juggled this okay we have this they spirits bringing this message has been guiding this masculine back and forth back and forth to trust uh you know contrast his mind patterns his back and forth his 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 indecisions in life and how that actually hinders him okay 
not being able to see the ships that are just behind him because he was focusing on this juggling act. Do you see that? It's like, your ships are about to dock, dude. Look how big all your abundance is about to come in, but you're juggling this stuff. You're paying attention to this, you know. Um, and so Spirit is saying he has been guiding this masculine. You, Divine Feminine, may have been, um, I feel much more awakened than your masculine. You know about this connection and how to work in the energies more, so you've been grounding it a lot more. And so this has been helping the masculine. And, and Spirit is saying, I've been guiding this masculine masculine towards you through his heartbreak and we have the four of cups here okay uh, oops four of cups here with the heartbreak that this masculine was very upset and in a place of deep heartbreak and regret and loss and was guiding this masculine through that juggling act of his own depression and in the back here we have another set of ship okay, look at this the ships are coming in when he comes out of his heartbreak so i feel that this transformation and everything that's happening here with this masculine is that he's realizing his ships have been there the whole time right under his nose but it's almost like he couldn't see himself through this heartbreak see he's behind the shield there's a masculine here so it's definitely god has really led this masculine through his heartbreak to rise and take control of the situation through his darkness we have the moon with the ace of wands okay to, uh, to move through his darkness could be a sex addiction, but to also know the hand of God is what I'm hearing, the passion, the creator force, the action, the manifestation, creator force energy, to passionately um, move through his darkness to bring this passion towards the divine feminine, okay? Spirit has really been guiding this connection that way. Any other final messages? This is just so beautiful. I feel that's it. We're going to see, um, yeah, this masculine knows what codependency was, okay? Um, he's single is what I'm getting. So any energies that were not for this connection, it's over. Okay. He's single. He's in his garden. He's very clear. He knows what he wants. And he's just, um, things have fallen with any type of other karmic situation here, which is what we had here with this queen of swords. And so there's definitely a transformation that's happened here. And so this is some very powerful energies that are coming through in regards to abundance, this garden being single, being in your own independent, no codependency because he's, you know, um, we're reading these cards upright and, um, yeah, looking at, you know, when he turned his back, he was just looking at his comfort zone. And there's the tower in the back here that's already fallen, okay? So let's see how Spirit is leading this connection. Let's get some messages. It's really beautiful reading from number four. If you like that, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to comment. If you want a reading, hit the info, uh, with the info, and send me an email at info at readingwells.com. All the info is below. I'm sorry for the noise. But let's see, how is Spirit guiding this connection here? What other final messages? How is Spirit guiding this connection? You are a star. You can make one more Spirit. Thank you. Okay, you may get a message from this person soon. Okay, we have the Star Keeper, Cosmic Ancestor, Seed the Light by Staying Grounded. That's exactly it. That's that stillness card, right? Look at how similar these cards are. You have to be, able to be that stillness and flow and allow and to ground uh, this type of light into this earth plane. You are cosmic ancestor, your very old souls, okay? So you are grounding the stillness by being patient, allowing, knowing spirit has it, and surrendering. And, and that's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. And spirit is saying, you may get a message soon. Serious energy bringing harmony and bal balance. Messenger. So you may get a message from the higher realms about this or even from your person. Okay? Really beautiful. Let's see what messages are coming through from your person for pile number four. And that will be your reading. What is going on with pile number four, please? What messages do they have for the viewer in pile number four? If it is black is feminine energy, white is masculine energy, and whoever you are asking about however whatever comes out it is the energy that they are within themselves so if you're feminine ask about a masculine but a black card shows up it means that they are picking up on the feminine's messages from within okay so we have a complete balance that's happening here we have two feminine messages and two masculine messages okay so from your person when they're connected to mask themselves or their masculine energies mostly my viewers are feminine so um 
this is I have a surprise for you your masculine when he comes forward has something for you I have a surprise he's gonna surprise you somehow and this masculine is also saying this connection is too intense for me to handle right now so he's dealing with this transformation so be aware of that that's why this stillness is needed so he's not ready right yet but he does he is planning something okay we have this masculine feeling the divine feminine within or is the feminine speaking to the masculine vice versa take it as it resonates i am realizing that i want to fix us to fix you to fix me i'm starting to understand that i can't fix anyone not even myself nothing needs fixing but everything needs love i am working on love in the deepest sense of knowing myself better wow so it's getting out of that fixing mentality that something is wrong with you getting out of that mentality that you're in a lack consciousness that you're just perfect the way that you are you just have to love beautiful and the final message from your person i'm so angry about our situation i am doing my best to heal this i know you feel my anger but i also know i have to express it in order to heal it so this person may be beating themselves about it about what's happened um they're going through a transformation with that death card but they also know that they want you and so this just needs a little bit more patience and love and let them heal and they'll be ready this person will definitely come towards you they want you and they want to build with you so so much love pile number four uh would love to hear what you have to say about that if you'd like a reading don't forget to uh email me don't forget to like subscribe would love to hear about this what you think and i'm sending you so much love bye guys